art shows are boring, you know? Like, art shows are boring. You go, there's a lot of cool stuff hanging up. Everybody looks at each other's shoes and checks out each other's outfits and says snarky little comments. I've only been attending them for about 20 years and I'm long since really fucking bored. There's gotta be some way to make these more interactive for the viewer. Um, when I have shows, I like to do installations where it feels like you go inside of something. To be able to like embrace that and actually play with it and physically touch it and move it changes the whole definition of an art show. If you really love Frank Kozik's artwork, for example, I mean, you, you get to play Frank Kozik's world. What's the process that you'll follow to design the game? Beyond all the normal challenges of making a piece of artwork that people want to look at and become involved in, you also need to have it work with the functionality of the game. You know, you realize that you have this big open area, but I can't just design this big open area however I want and put whatever I want there. It needs to be something that coincides with this and the way that the action on the game plays. So it's actually, uh, it's kind of challenging. I think it's really nice, the idea that everybody can combine forces and get the energy of these fans, people who like our artwork, and combine that with guys that know these games inside and out. A challenge like that isn't really something where I'm like intimidated, it's more like I'm looking forward to it. If, if we don't do it, it's one more really cool piece of Americana that winds up in a junkyard or a landfill and not necessarily just on the waste end of it, but it's uh, a waste of like smiles and laughter and like a waste of another opportunity to make people happy and remind people about this cool piece of American history.